Welcome to video 3 of the fractions video series. We're looking at simplifying fractions in this video. How do we simplify fractions? Well, if we're simplifying 15 over 20, first thing is to find the biggest number that can divide into the top and into the bottom. So we need to know our tables for this one, it'll be handy. Um, so we need to know uh, what might divide into 15 and into 20. And once we find that number, that number that does divide into 15 and 20 is known as the highest common factor, or HCF to, uh, in, in short. So yeah, try and find the biggest number that can go into both. Sometimes there's only one number that can go into both. Other than one, we can often say that one can go into both, but it doesn't really help if you divide one into something that doesn't really change. But anyway, in this case, uh, once we've found the number that can divide into both, we do the division. We divide it into the top and bottom, and we get a simpler fraction. In this case, 5 divides into the top and into the bottom, so uh, we'll divide the top by 5 and the bottom by 5. On the top, 15 divided by 5 goes 3 times. On the bottom, 20 divided by 5 uh, goes 4 times. So we've created a simpler fraction of 3 quarters here. We'd say that's been simplified. So 3 quarters is the simplified version of 15 over 20. Let's have a look at another example. Step 1 is to find the biggest number that can divide into the top and bottom. Now I'm deliberately in this example not going to find the biggest number that divides into the top and bottom. I'm kind of breaking my own rules, but I'm going to do it to illustrate uh, a uh, principle involved in simplifying fractions that you might not have uh, seen before. We're supposed to find the biggest number that divides into the top and bottom, and then uh, that's known as the highest common factor, and then we should divide it into the top and bottom. But I'm going to make, uh, make a bit of a blue here. I'm going actually to divide the top and bottom by 3 now. Some of you will be able to spot that there are bigger numbers that can divide into 24 and 36 but I'm doing this to, to make a point. So let's divide 3 in and see how it goes. So 24 divided by 3 is 8 and 36 on the bottom there divided by 3 is 12. Now I think you can see that 8 over 12 that we're left with here isn't the simplest version we can get. So what we need to do is keep remembering this principle of simplifying fractions. Once you simplify once and you think you're done, please check if you can simplify further. See if there, if there are any other numbers that can go into your answer uh, here. And if there are, you should divide them into the top and bottom as well. So 8 and 12 are both even numbers. So the definition of an even number is that 2 can divide into, into them. So uh, let's divide 2 into the top and bottom here. Now once again, uh, some of you guys who are thinking well will be able to spot that I'm <laughs> once again not taking the biggest number out here that I could, but let's uh, bear with me. I'm doing it for a purpose. So we'll t divide the top by 2 and the bottom by 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4. On the bottom there, 12 divided by 2 is 6. Once again, we haven't got to the simplest version because there's a number, in this case 2 again, that can divide into uh, the top and the bottom. So we'll keep going. <laughs> we'll uh, kick in this rule again. Once I've simplified, check if I can simplify further. Um, so we'll divide the top by 2 and the bottom by 2 on the top it goes in twice and on the bottom it goes in three times. Now finally I can't think of any other numbers other than one that can divide into my final answer two-thirds down here. Um, but uh, this is to illustrate the point if I don't quite find the biggest number that uh, divides into both of my starting point my starting fractions well that's not the end of the world as long as I keep going and so when you get an answer, when you think you're simplifying, let's just check before we finish, the, finish our answer whether we can find any more numbers. And so uh, it's only when we find uh, that we can't find any other numbers that uh, can divide into our answer that we should stop here. So sure, try and find the biggest number that can divide into the top and bottom from the very start. But if not, uh, don't, uh, don't finish the question until you're sure that there's no numbers that can divide into the top and bottom. Once you simplify, check if you can simplify further. 
Okay, using a calculator. Well, much easier process. We don't have to know much about our tables if we've got a calculator available. A uh, pretty simple process here. We enter the fraction into the calculator using our fraction button, and then guess what? This is a tricky bit. We press equals, and uh, the calculator is fantastic at simplifying fractions. Type the fraction in, press equals, and uh, you should see a nice simplified fraction there. And you can be confident that's the simplest version the calculator can come up with. Okay, so that's simplifying fractions. Any time we get an answer that's a fraction, we have an obligation to simplify it down to its simplest version. So it's a pretty important process, this. Thanks for listening. See you next time.